Hi, I'm Ryan Reynolds and I'm the account manager for Golf Pro Delivery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use E6 Golf Simulator software powered by a Unicor IXL launch monitor. So the first time I'm going to take you through, I'm going to show you the fastest way to get to the driving range and the fastest way to start a round of golf. Then after that, we're going to take a few steps back and I'm going to go into more detail showing you all the features of E6. So the first thing you're going to want to do is launch the view software. Once view is up, you click start on your profile and then hit add for a session. Then once you have view open, you'll then open up E6. So now the fastest way to get to the driving range when you're at E6 is to go to the practice option, select add guest, next, next again, next one more time, and then hit T off. From there, you're at the range and you're ready to hit shots. Once your shot is hit, it'll play back onto the projector screen and it'll show all your data. First, it'll show your distance, your carry, launch angle, and ball speed. And it'll stay up on the top until your next shot is hit. Now, to exit out of the range, you will click the E6 icon in the lower left hand corner or the escape key on your keyboard. That will bring up a menu, you hit exit round, and you're back at the main menu. Now I'm going to show you how to start up a round of golf as fast as possible. So you go to play golf, your guest account is already there, stroke play next, you choose whatever course you'd like next, and then hit tee off. Then once you get to here, you're ready to golf again. And you'll see you have this red line in the center, which is showing your center line and your mini map off to the right, showing you a preview of the hole. It shows it's 339 yards to the flag with fluctuating wind from 14 miles per hour going down. So you'll, hit, you'll step up, you'll hit your shot. Ball will go and it'll carry on to the next shot. And from there you'll play your round just like you would any round of golf. It'll show you all your data in between each shot and then it'll show you the distance you have to your next hole along with the change in elevation. You have your wind shown next to your mini map and again you have you could change on the mini map where you want to aim your target to and your red and white stake is always your center. So now to exit the round of golf, the same way you would exit the range, you could either hit the E6 logo in the bottom left corner or press the escape key. And then you go to exit round and back to the main. So now we're going to go into a bit more detail showing you all the features of E6 and how to best utilize it. So when you're in the practice mode, you have the option to log in and create an E6 account. You create that at uh, on E6's website, or you can do that right here, where you create an account, enter your email address and information, and that can track all your rounds played and give you statistics based on that. But for now, we're going to continue it with a guest account. You hit next, and now there's several different ranges you can choose from. If you select chip and putt and hit next, it'll give you a whole bunch of wide variety of shots, different chip shots with an obstacle in the way, uh, such as a boulder or a log or just simply work on 40, 60, 80, or 90 yard chips. Now for the driving range, there's several other options as well. You have the flat range where we were before. There's a range with large targets, the greens to shoot from. There's a shot shaping driving range. There's another range with small targets, and there's a range for a long drive. So let's say we want to go back to the flat range. You would hit next again. 
Now it's going to show all of our settings. So if we want to go in and look at the settings, you would hit game options or do hit settings. And you can see now in here, you can change the environment. You can change how you would like the wind to be. You can change the elevation. It's set to the course elevation, but you can change that to anything you would like. How hard the greens are, how fast the greens are rolling. You could change the stem, the fairway. You could change the hardness and you could change the atmosphere of the deck. Now, if everything suits your liking, you would hit accept and get back to teeing off. So now, again, to exit back to the main menu, you hit the escape key and exit round. Now hit main menu. Now, when you go to play an actual round, there's a lot more options to choose from. So you can play with up to eight people uh, E6 allows for eight players at the same time. If you want to clear them quickly, you could hit clear all and add yes. Now, there's several different types of modes you can play. There's stroke play, stay preferred, modified stay preferred. There's uh, performance team stroke, match play, singles, scramble, and a best ball. For the bottom four, you need at least two players to play those modes. But we're going to go with stroke play for now. And you choose your, your course and hit next. Now there's a lot more options to, uh, to factor in when you're playing around. So you go to the settings and now there's the golf settings. You could set how many mulligans you'd like, whether you want mulligans to be completely turned off or have anywhere from one to 10 or no limit. Now there's also different types of putting mode. You could set it to player putts out where you putt just like you would on a course. There's computer decides, which once you reach the green, the uh, score will be determined based on how far you are. Then there's auto score, which is similar, but it's based on once you're near the pin, not necessarily on the green. There's the player decides mode where you manually enter a number of putts that you think you would hit from that uh, distance. And then there's a gimme where you could specify a certain range for it to be a gimme. Now you could change the pin position each time. You could set easy, medium, or hard, how fast it will auto continue, whether there will be a terrain penalty if you're hitting out of the rough or hitting out of the bunker. Uh, you could turn it on so there's auto flybys before each hole where you get a preview of the hole. And then there's a setting where for an auto drop and re-hit, if you hit into a hazard or out of bound, it will automatically drop if you'd like to turn that on. Uh, so now if all the settings meet your likings, you can hit accept. And then you could also look at the selected holes. If you don't want to play an entire 18, you could select to play the front nine if you'd like, or just the back nine, or you hit all to get everything back. Or you could even, if you want to just play the part threes, you could click on each individual course and press the up arrow, which will add that to your round. So you can generate your own few holes that you want to play rather than playing an entire round. And then if you want to go back, you could just hit the all button and that will add all your courses back. Now, if you're ready to go, then you would hit T off. Now, once you're out onto the round, you uh, press the escape key or the E6 button in the menu, and you can turn on the practice mode. Now this, once you hit shots, it will keep bringing you back to the same spot as if it were the range. shot, it won't count towards your score because we're in the practice mode and everything will come back. It'll show you all your shot data just like before and then bring you back to where you were at the start of that shot and you can take another practice shot. Then if you want to escape out of the practice mode, you will then pull up the menu again and hit end practice. So now any shot you hit will be live. Now also in this menu, you have options to see your scorecard, which will show you 
the distance for each hole from all the uh, different tees, and how you've been doing so far. You can also see a hole preview, which will fly by of the hole, showing you exactly what you're up against. You also could skip to the next hole or pick up and let the other players finish. So now, if we go back to the main menu, a few more features I have not shown you yet. There's a few games that you can play on these sets. You could add, again, you could add up to eight people for these games. And there's four different games. So there's a closest to the pin you want to challenge your friends so you can get the closest from a certain distance. There's also two different types of long drive games where you can see who, uh, who could hit the furthest. And then there's a dark game which will give you rewards for hitting different parts of the dark. That I've covered the uh, majority of how to use E6. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoy your time using the software and hit them straight.